completely smacked it. What he's doing in 14 foot of water, actually, we're all fishing like 14 foot of, foot of water. This little guy comes up and decides he wanted a little bit of this blue and chrome rail trout. Go ahead, hook that guy. Both are right in the top of it. Yeah, nevertheless, it's a windy day, a little blue chrome. Little guy. So we're fishing a little half ounce. I've had this rod for ages. This is a decade old rod. Well, coming on to a decade here, very, probably in like two years, probably like an eight year old rod, Skeet Reese S, S glass crankbait rod. Bring her back out, see what we can do with her. It's a fun little rod. A lot of wind, so we'll do, we'll see what the audio ends up sounding like. I don't know what it will sound like. But... Again, fishing 14 foot of water. We lost a lot of the grass when we caught that fish, flooded off a lot of it, but keeps messing around, see what we can catch. 14 inch for got these raging landscape got those raging bush hogs going on back there so a little 14 incher we're gonna put him in the well and talk about my little homemade live well here for a little bit it's my little 14 incher there all right so k hart and i had a pretty slow day today on the lake so we came back here's her little project shorts that she made she's super proud of she ironed that on we're back at the dock now and i wanted to show you a lot of people ask about my little do it yourself live well here so i kind of wanted to show that off a little bit put a uh, put that crappie in that small little bass in here just to kind of show the room and everything in there first things first the little boat i have is a little eight foot palm prowler gets the job done have a little deck in the front little fish finder trolling motor all cool but did a little custom wiring job so here is an igloo i think it's a 45 quart it could be a 50 i'm not exactly sure relatively large cooler gets the job done can hold Good lengths of fish and these little wires popping out so we're going to show off what we have here two hinges and in here we have obviously we got our little friends here but we have this bilge pump here from seaflow now what that is it's a small little bilge pump meant for smaller little boats like this to obviously pump water out but the conversion kit here is meant for little portable live wells like what we have here so it's got this little tube that runs from the bilge pump, comes over, and there's holes in this PVC that just stick to the side of the cooler. Let our little crappie friend go here. So, they am perfectly lively, little white crappie caught on a rattle trap. And then obviously we have this little 14 inch largemouth in here, but I'm gonna plug this up. So we got these two little hinges, but what's cool about this cooler, and which, and you know, I see this at Dick's Sporting Goods a lot when I'm walking through there. It has this little door on the side which makes it awesome accessory for a live well. Now, the main reason you want to look for a cooler with that door is because when you're on the water, you don't want to have to be putting five fish in here, especially fish in a tournament, and having them jump out, they got a greater chance of jumping out, as opposed to just having this little door, put your hand in, pull the fish out, put the fish in, however it's going. Run the two cords out, they come with these little connectors here for your battery terminals. Let's see, connect the positive, connect the negative, and you can hear the water running. The only bad thing about this Seaflow bilge pump is there's no on and no off unless you add a switch to it. So it doesn't come with an on and off switch, so keep that in mind. But take a look inside. That's how it works. Where it adds the air bubbles. So when this comes off, this is just an attachment. It just flows all that water. Then you add the attachment in. And boom. It sticks right to the side. And you can adjust it, make it go lower or whatever. This will do, I mean, it's gonna run as long as you have it plugged in. All you gotta do is take the negative off the terminal or leave the negative on, take the positive off, whatever. So it's that simple. You can splice in an on and off switch. I just don't really have any room to add an on and off switch. There's so much water that comes into this boat a lot. You know, it's between the net. Um, when you hit a, a big wake, I fish really big lakes in a pond probably like this. I fish all these public lakes. So, you know, you always see the public boaters messing with us. So we always get big waves that come into the boat. But this thing is awesome and it actually when I'm fishing by myself or with a partner, if I'm fishing by myself, I'll fill this thing up brim to the top of the, with, uh, with water, I'll fill this to the top and it basically is like having a fishing partner in the back. It's pretty heavy and it counterweights everything and balances out the boat when you're in the water so you don't get that front effect. How I fill it up, you're always going to have another cooler with you keeping all your waters and drinks cold. But, so you just take that, dip it into the water, come into this little door and pour the water in. So it's pretty easy. You have that little door really easy to put a bigger fish in we've held eight and nine pounders in this cooler no problem you know five fish limits of four and five pounders so this thing can hold a ton of fish as you can see i mean it's obviously long enough 
it holds them all. And what's cool about the other door swinging is when you get back to the ramp, you can easily get in and get your fish out. So we're gonna release this little guy. So fortunate, another one, another rattle trap fish. Look at him, perfectly healthy. So he's been alive for about three hours. Now, next question. It does not recirculate the water. It just helps to kind of spit up the water. You know, it gives it those air bubbles on top, keeps the water from being still, which is what you're looking for with this build. But yes, you do. I mean, if you're on a hot day, you know, especially summer day, you don't want the same water in there for over three hours. So general rule of thumb, every, every two hours for me, another accessory to look for when you're buying one of these coolers is you want to find something that has the little drain plug. So you get back to the weigh-in, you want to get water for your weigh-in bag easily, or when you're getting off the lake, just dump that out. Obviously you can take your cooler out and dump all the water, which is what I do. But when you don't want to dump all your dang fish into the lake, you got a cool little drain plug. So this little igloo cooler is awesome. Like I said, it's a... Oh no, you know what? It's a 50 core. Seaflow builds, comes with everything here. It comes with the tube, the mounts, the extra attachments, which gives you that good spray effect for the water. And this is a nice, cheap, and easy, do-it-yourself, homemade live well. Now, if you have a cooler, obviously it's a little cheaper, but you have to go out and buy this igloo cooler, which I would recommend finding something with that door. It works great. But if not, I found that little Seaflow bilge pump on Amazon, so the cheapest I found it, and it's only like 25 bucks. So I'll put that link below if you guys are looking for it. But that's essentially it. That's the cheap, cheapest, biggest budget live well. I mean, this thing you can put in the back of a car if you're trying to keep fish, obviously. It's good for an extra live well if you're needing it for bait. It's really good for shiners and stuff. I've had to go upwards of 35, 40 minutes away from where I live and then having to get to the lake. So you're looking at an hour and a half of transport with shiners in this thing. They've done great. Just put that right to a battery, connect it, let that water run. They've done really good. Garrett Colbert and I have gone like two hours down south with almost four dozen shiners in this thing and they've done good. So it's a nice little live well. It's awesome. It fits here. My girlfriend sits on it like she's in a chair, so it you know it doubles as a live well in a seat. Yeah, it takes up a little bit of room, but you know to be able to keep fish and fish tournaments in a little pond probably like this, that thing is awesome. It's awesome. Suction cups up here for the spray mount. The tube can run, you can put it, it comes with another suction cup if you want to run that, but I didn't have any room. Three suction cups on the bilge pump itself. Wire comes out the bilge pump, already waterproofed. Comes with the terminal lens, go right to your battery, on off. I'd recommend adding an on off switch if you're going to put this thing in like a John boat, where you can keep it, you know, mounted permanently. If you have a boat where you can, don't have a live well and you're looking to do this cooler system, do the on off switch. It's a lot easier than just having a plug this thing up every once in a while but if you definitely if you got a pump pilot this is this is your gig i'm telling you this is an awesome setup it's great with two people and it's you know even better with one person it helps balance out the weight got the battery in the back chilling motor in front fill that thing up as soon as you get on the lake counterbalance all your weight and uh, you're able to take some cool pictures holding some fish keeping them healthy but at the end of the day it's all up to yourself responsibility keep it making sure you're checking on the fish keeping them healthy they're going to need to get recirculated water so that is just a quick little tip if you are building something like this, again, you're gonna have to keep up with the water. So the maintenance is a little higher, but it makes it all worth it at the end of the day. And it's cheap, under 30 bucks. Unless you gotta buy the cooler, then you're SOL again.